In this video, we will look into insert, update, delete. Let's create a table. Create table for basics. Or DBO dot test. Here we have amp ID amp ID int one amp name a care of fifty. Hang on a care of ten hang. So let us locate this. I click tables, fresh. There is a test table created. It has got amp id int not null, amp name weight care of 50 null, and phone weight care of 10 null. So to insert, use insert to equal basics dot dbo dot test. We are already in the SQL basics uh, database then uh, we can avoid these and just write the table name which is test values one comma a this should error out because there are Three columns here: amp ID, amp name, and phone. And uh, we are giving only two columns. One a. Even though the, this is null, we should specifically give null value. So let us see the error first. Execute. Column name or number of supply values does not match table definition. So number of supplied values should be three, and we are given only two. So this will error out. So to enter only two values, should give the column names. Which two columns you want to enter the data in? So if I give test of a test, give amp ID. comma temp name and then if I say values 1a then we can check the table now and see what values are entered select star from with this So if I execute this, one year in entered and null has been entered in the phone column. So now if we want to enter uh, all the values, then there is no need to mention the column names. So let us delete this. So for delete, we use delete from this table. We can give the delete from will delete all the rows. Uh, if we mention the particular uh, row, then it will delete that row. Here uh, I am just using this where clause where amp ID is equal to 1. So where amp ID is equal to 1 will be deleted. Because there is only one row, I can as well give delete from SQL basics dot db or dot one row affected. And let us see the test table. So there is nothing there inside this now. So let us now enter 
all the columns so insert into so if i'm entering the all the columns there's no need for me to mention the column names so insert into sql basics dot dbo dot test and then values I give one a one two three Let me enter two more values. This one and this one and this one I two so B and this one I nature three and third one give it as three C this one four five six seven eight nine one two three zero so let me enter these three values execute select star from table so three values have been inserted so that's how we can use the insert statement to insert uh, values into the table if we want to enter all the column values then there is no need to give the column names you can just give the values if you want to enter only some of the columns you have to give the column names and enter those values now let us look into the update statement so if we want to update uh, a record in this table suppose you want to update uh, temp name to c then the query would be update the table name what is the table name sql basics dot db dot test we can as well uh, give just the table name test if we are already there in the sql basics uh, database but uh, in real life uh, situations uh, query may be executed from a different location so we are uh, giving the sql basics uh, the database name and then the schema name and then the table name so update sql basics or dvo dot test test we have to set the amp name because we want to change the amp name from c to c set amp name is equal to c so which amp name we have to change where amp id is equal to 3 there only we are changing the amp name from c to c so where amp id is equal to 3 so if I execute this one row affected, so let us go and check the next star from call basics dot abo dot so if I execute this is p it has changed to p now we want to change a phone also along with the amp name then there is a little bit change in the query so we will say update call basics dot dbo dot test set amp name is equal to c comma phone is equal to one two three where amp id is equal to three 
So if I now execute this, in we will take the test table. So D has been changed to C now because we are setting M10 is equal to C, phone is equal to 1, 2, 3. And phone has been set to 1, 2, 3, where empire is equal to 3. So that's how we can uh, make uh, updates to the table and for different uh, columns. If you like the video, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. For notifications on upcoming videos, please click on the bell icon.